Hey guys, it's Kishali. So I am back at Stamford Bridge. I've had a lovely post World Cup break, but it is back to business this season. Um, and I'm here for Chelsea's friendly against Leon. Um, it kind of felt like um, I was coming home almost. You know, three seasons of covering Chelsea. Uh, it kind of felt like I was coming home as I was walking up um, towards the stadium. It's a really lovely atmosphere. It's a, it's a pretty hot and sticky day, but I'm looking forward to this game. I don't know if we're going to see all the first team players in action, but I'm looking forward to uh, seeing my first Chelsea game of the season. Now, uh, I know a lot of you have been asking about whether or not I'll be covering Chelsea um, again this season. Well, um, just a bit of news before I continue with my match day vlog. Um, I'm actually not going to be covering Chelsea as exclusively as I have done for the past three seasons so I'm going to basically be covering the biggest game of the week so a lot of the times I will be here I will be covering Chelsea's game because they are of course involved in so many huge games but um, this season I'll be getting the chance to travel up to Manchester City United I'll get the chance to see um, Liverpool as well so I'm really looking forward to starting this kind of new journey and I really hope that you're looking forward to joining me on this journey. Sprinkles out. I'll be back with team news. Right guys, so team news is out and um, I think as expected there are quite a few changes to the Chelsea lineup. certainly a lot of changes from the, the team that lost to Manchester City in the Community Shield just a few days ago. So you've got Volker in, uh, in goal, you've got Zappa Costa, Christensen, Empardu and Emerson in, um, in defence. Uh, Loftus Cheek is in the starting lineup today, as is Bakioko and Drinkwater. And you've got Moses, Tammy Abraham, and Willian in attack. A lot of changes. I think it's just a chance today, really, for Sari to see um, some of the other players who haven't yet played um, so much under him. And the World Cup stars are apparently on the bench, so we'll see um, what kind of performance Chelsea put in because it, it was a disappointing and disjointed performance against City. Um, I'll just show you the scene right now uh, on the pitch. There are the Leon players. And uh, the Chelsea players haven't yet come up to warm up. Um, but I'll be back at half time to see how this game is panning out. Hey guys, so it's half time at Stamford Bridge. It hasn't been the best 45 minutes of football we've ever seen at Stamford Bridge, let's be honest. It is goalless at the break. Um, first half has pretty much seen Leon um, dominate possession. Um, up until just a minute before the half time break, they had had uh, the best chance of the game. It was uh, Hussein. You are, I hope I said his name right. Uh, he drove the ball wide, uh, inches wide of, of Walker's goal. Um, and they've been dominating possession and creating a, a few chances here and there, nothing amazing. Um, down the other side of the pitch, um, Chelsea have had a few attacks. I think Big Walter, um, he went for goal. And, and the best chance really for Chelsea came a minute before the break, as I mentioned. It was William with a free kick. So he forced Anthony Lopez into uh, a save. Um, but it hasn't been the kind of scintillating, uh, cohesive display from Chelsea um, that perhaps fans may have wanted to see. Completely understandable. Look, it's just two days after the community show. There's so many changes on the pitch here. So what I think will be interesting in the second half is whether or not Sari, having seen that first half, having seen a lot of the plays in action that perhaps we wanted to see um, in action in a competitive match, as it were, and friendly, obviously. But, um, it's interesting whether or not he's going to make changes to bring on some of the players that perhaps will be starting against Huddersfield at the weekend. Let's see. So that's it. Chelsea's pre-season is over. Days before they play Huddersfield, they've ended their pre-season on a high. Um, they've beaten Leon here today, 5-4 on penalty. Rob Green saved a penalty and Eden Hazard uh, slotted in the winning uh, spot kick. Um, it just, you know, kind of lifts the spirit around. Uh, Chelsea a couple of days after that Community sh Shield loss to Manchester City um, and I think what was really interesting now this was a much changed side so I think certainly in the first half we can't take well we can we can look at the positives for me Loftus-Cheek was one a big positive now Sari actually spoke about Loftus-Cheek um, in his post-match press conference he said uh, he can be a great player um, he can improve tactically but you know he's kind of predicting really good things from Loftus-Cheek and why not he did impress uh, he was so often the guy who was driving Chelsea's attacks uh, forward today um, and you kind of feel like it's time for him to finally get that chance to show what he can do at Chelsea um, so I think he was a massive positive for Chelsea today in that first half certainly and obviously there were wholesale changes at the break I think Ampadu as well he did so well he's so calm and composed and 
you can't almost believe that he's still a teenager and yet here he is playing in central defence as you saw last season doing so well um, now in the second half there were changes and I think the second half showed us a bit more about what we can expect um, this season really I mean Sarri's come out and said that he thinks in two to three months this Chelsea side can be very, very good. And I think you saw a glimpse of that in the second half. Certainly when Hazard came back on the pitch. Certainly when Kante was on the pitch um, as well. And, um, you know, he linked up really well with Giroud. I think what will be interesting to see against Huddersfield is what kind of midfield trio you have start. Now, in the second half, you had Kante, Jorginho and Barkley. They look pretty good together. Will it be those three? Will it be Fabregas and Barkley? Will it be Loftus-Cheek? Um, let's see. Um, so I think it was an interesting um, game tactically, um, looking at which players Sari is kind of starting to prefer in his team. Um, but yeah, that's me uh, done from today's game. I do hope you've enjoyed my first match day vlog of the season. Make sure you hit subscribe on my YouTube channel. I'm going to be at a huge game at the weekend. I'm going to be at Arsenal Manchester City. So if you want to see my experience in that game, hit subscribe and I'll catch you then.